Okay, so as I mentioned, I'm busy. I have not washed my face or anything for you today, but we're gonna get this done. And the name of the game is to get this done before this one wakes up and decides to hunt me. So, challenge accepted. Let's do this. Um, get on your back, please. So you're just gonna lie on your back. I'm gonna ask you to bring your feet as wide as your yoga mat and let your knees fall together. And you can just put your hands wherever you want. You can do T-shape, cactus, heart, belly, 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 whatever. Two middle fingers in the air works for me. Just breathe. And inhale and exhale very slowly through the nose. If you can't breathe through your nose, totally appropriate to breathe through your mouth. But just slow the breath down and change gears. So I'm going to just sit here for you to breathe breath. Relax, channel the snoring bulldog. <laughs> All right, and then your last exhalation, I want you to slowly go ahead and bring your knees to your chest. And so you're just gonna use the weight of your hands to pull your knees towards your chest. You're not gonna crank on them and yank them. And as you do so, just think about pulling the belly in slightly and see how long you can make your torso from crown of the head to the tailbone. Back doesn't have to go flat against the mat. But I do want you to relax your shoulders back. Good, now gently guide your knees out wide as if you were gonna bring them to each armpit. Continue to channel the snoring bulldog. He has all the answers, I'm telling you, he should be doing the video. Bring the knees back to center. I want you to keep your right knee and let your left leg come down long to the mat. Now, if you can't rest here comfortably, by all means, bend that left knee, um, but it's just a matter of what your range of motion is today. Um, this is my second take on the video because my boyfriend decided to call and interrupt it, so I'm a little bit looser than I was the first take, so I'm keeping a straight leg, and I'm gonna pull that knee towards my center line. I'm gonna pull that knee towards my right armpit. And I'm going to bring it back to center. I'm going to grab the sole of the foot with both hands, and I'm going to point the sole of the foot towards the ceiling. Now, if you can't be here with your shoulders resting back, just bend the leg. It'll give you a little bit more room to pull that leg up, but don't straighten. We're still cold, and I want you to push that foot into the hand while the arms pull the leg back down. So we're just getting a little bit of a stretch through the hamstring. You're going to feel some activation through your quadricep for sure. And then relax that knee a little bit as you pull your right knee towards your right side, as if that right knee was gonna touch the mat on the right side of you. If it does, rock on with your bendy self. If it doesn't, no stress, because we're not worried about hypermobility here. We're just trying to wake shit up. Bring the knee back to center. And then you're gonna let go of the foot. You're gonna push the leg nice and straight. If the left leg is bent, I want you to straighten it. Flex both feet, arms at your sides. And then you're going to start to pull the belly in and you're going to start to crunch up towards your right knee. Because I'm a dick. <laughs> and slowly come back down. Inhale and exhale. Slowly curl up. I make my students do this, but I never actually do it. <laughs> Round three. Start to slowly curl up. I wonder if they hate me. <laughs> Slowly go back down. And then bring that right leg down to meet the left. Hug both knees towards your chest again. Give them a little bit of love. Keep the left knee. Let the right leg come down to the mat. So remember, you can bend that right leg if you want to. But I want you to pull that left knee towards your sternum. So towards the center of your body. <coughs> and then pull the left knee towards the left armpit. Shoulders relaxed. And then grab the sole of the left foot with both hands and push that foot towards the ceiling while you pull those shoulders back in the socket. Optional, bend that right knee. Just wake some stuff up. Wake everything up but the bulldog. Do not wake up the bulldog because he will haunt me because he thinks I'm his girlfriend. And then you're gonna go ahead and release that foot. You're gonna push it straight up towards the ceiling. You're gonna pull the belly in and start to curl up off the mat. And then slowly lower down. So 
starting to curl up. You're slotting those fingertips towards your right foot. Slowly lower down. Inhale, exhale, let it go. Third and final. Yes, I like threes. I use a lot of threes. You're stuck with it. Deal with it. Too bad, so sad. Slowly lower down. Slowly bring the left leg down. Good. And then hug the knees towards your chest again. Roll onto either side, left or right side. I don't care. I'm going to turn to my left. And then push yourself up. Good. We're going to come to tabletop. And then I want you to find plank on knees. And so we're not putting our booty back and we're not letting our booty drop. Nice, strong plank here. Straight line from shoulders to hips to knees. Looking forward, just come all the way down onto your belly. Forehead on the mat, hands underneath your shoulders, press your toes into the mat. Let those shoulder blades slide down your back. Feel that length in your neck. And then start to peel the forehead up off the mat and start to push into your hands to come up into cobra. This might be it. Try to keep those elbows in, keep the arms activated, and let the shoulders move down the back. So we don't want to hunch your shoulders here. We want to keep a nice long neck. And don't jump the chin forward because it's not the presidential challenge pull up. Slowly come down. I don't know if they even do that anymore. You're going to bring the arms nice and wide in a T-shape, pasta banda. Avoid the ottoman of your little chair. Roll the shoulders down the back. Press the toes in. Start to peel up. Don't force yourself up here. Hands are kind of a guide, but you're really using the muscles in your back. Slowly come down. Hands come underneath the shoulders again. Roll yourself up into a cobra, and then lift the hands. And hover. And try not to peek, because you just ate breakfast. Ooh. Slowly come down. Press those hands into the mat. You're gonna go ahead and press yourself back up to plank on knees. Bring yourself up to that tabletop position. You're gonna bring your hands slightly forward of your shoulders, curl the toes under, press yourself back, down dog. Good, and so just go ahead and bend the right knee and bend the left knee here. If you like to twist side to side, whatever your, whatever your jam is, I don't care. Good, and then you're gonna take a deep breath in through the nose, and then exhale, just slowly walk your feet forward towards your hands. And then just hang here in forward folding bend, Uttanasana. And if you want to sway side to side, sway side to side. And then we're going to heel toe our feet mats width apart. So the outer edges of your feet line up with the outer edges of the mat. And bend your knees, sink down 90 degree angle, open your heart forward. So this is Angry Bear. And that is my cleavage. Wow, I actually have one today. All right. <laughs> So we're not sinking our, our glutes below our knees. I want to keep the quadriceps activated. Big deep breath in. Exhale, fold forward, let it go. And just get rid of it. Whatever feels organic to you. So I mentioned I like threes. I also like to tell stories. And so you guys get to be subjected to the story of the angry bear. So we did the angry bear, which was this. And the bear's angry because he's in Florida and he's wearing a fur coat and it's hot. Well, not really today. Maybe he's a happy bear today, but for the sake of argument, he's angry. The bear becomes an angrier bear, number two, because there's burrs in the sand. So you're going to lift the heels up off the mat. You're going to hold steady. Try not to straighten the legs. You have that urge to do so. I know you can't see my face, but you can hear my voice. Drop the heels, fold forward. Let it go. Let it go. So third and final, Angry bear, fur coat, Florida. Angrier bear, sand burrs. Angriest bear of all, lift your arms behind you. I'm gonna try to back up so that you guys can see me in the pull dog. You're pulling your arms behind you, kind of a karate kid moment, and the angriest bear of all has a pelican on the back of his head, and he's pecking it. So stay steady with it. Keep pulling yourself back. Yeah, it burns. <laughs> Drop the heels, come forward, let it go. Come back to your mat. Don't wake up the bulldog. And then plant the palms, step back to down dog again. Shoulders down the back, bend both knees, lift the seat bones, drive the right heel down, kept the left knee bent. Bend both knees, lift the seat bones, drive the left heel down, keep the right knee bent. Try not to cock the hips. Bend both knees, drive both heels down, hang the head. And if your heels don't touch, your heels don't touch. Mine don't touch. I think they've touched like once, it's just not gonna happen. 
Um, not for me anyhow. So don't even stress about that. Just stop worrying about forcing the heels down. I'd rather think of a relaxed angle where you're not trying to resist the motion of your body. Good. And then come back down, tabletop position. Let's do a few cat-cat. Hold. You can resume normal breathing, but come up onto your fingertips in Hasta Banda. Walk the fingertips back by the knees. Push yourself up as high as you can. Tuck the chin against the chest. Try to keep the hips above the knees. Relax. Come back down, neutral tabletop. Come back to sitting however you want to. Legs come forward. Dandasana, staff pose. Arms at your side, sit nice and tall. Pull the belly in. See how tall you can make yourself from tailbone to the base of the neck as you bring the chin against your chest. Shoulders down the back. Lift the chin, lift the arms, inhale, exhale, fold forward. So again, we're not cranking into it. I'd rather have you use the power of your body to bring you out into the position and then let your hands fall. A lot of people just wanna stretch, 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 and it's not gonna do you a lot of good. We need to develop strength. We need to work on the stabilizer muscles. Inhale the arms up and overhead, exhale them down. And then you can come into Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together. And you can either come like in a wider diamond shape, you can come into bringing the heels closer together. Again, it's just kind of how you feel. But you want to be able to sit upright on your own, like not prop yourself up and then fall back. Sit upright on your own. And just bring your feet, your hands to your ankles. Don't pull yourself, sit tall. Exhale, use your body again to pull yourself out and over. I'm gonna do no presidential challenge, no chin. Crown of the head. Some people like to push their legs down. I don't, but if that is what feels good to you, go for it. I just don't wanna crank my stuff. Good, and then let your arms come forward, and I just want you to ragdoll down into it. Flop over. Slowly come back up. Bring the hands to the outsides of the knees. Push the knees together. Make sure you're on your mat as you roll down and start applauding because we didn't wake up the whole dog. Let the legs go long. It's a fucking miracle. It's an epiphany miracle. Take a few breaths. Let it go. We be done. Thank you.